This is Seventeen's God of Music, and here are the actual directors of the music video. Yay! Welcome! Hello! Hi. This is so cool. What the heck? Let's talk. This is Kylie Kang and Joohoon Jung, and they have directed some of your favorite K-pop music videos, like these ones. And I am beyond excited to have you guys. Oh, and by the way, hi, I'm Jordan. I'm a pro music video editor. So let's break down your guys' latest work. First of all, I have to say this. This title looks so good. Yeah. Whoever you have doing titles, they matched the light perfectly. It looks like it's perfectly inside of the car there. He is the god when it comes to editing. So we got this title AI file and he did all the VFX on 3D typo. Dihu, you so. dog. Oh my goodness, you are so good. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wish I could shake your hand through this screen right now. I just, I really want to. Cin Cinema 4D and OK Render. Okay. Cinema 4D. Anytime I hear something that's over 2D, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> this is so sad. All the music is gone. Store closing? We often forget the importance of something when it's just there for us. But when it's gone, then that's when we realize it's true value. Wow. It's the whole song talks about how we uh, enjoy music regardless of where we are from. I feel like this is that movie trailer moment where it's like, in a world without music. And we're like, oh frick, okay. <laughs> what is a world without music like? Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, that's okay. You can't you can't be doing stuff like that, all right? I have to redo my hardest K-pop transitions video now because of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Straight into full conflict. Everything for Seventeen is music. That's what we wanted to say in the beginning of the music video. So for instance, Joshua, the sound of butterfly flying sounds like music to him. Yep. And in from the telephone pull, they imagine it like a guitar. We shot it in a blue screen. And this part, I took the background and rotate it and boom. <laughs> also, how are his clothes changing in almost every frame? Photoshop AI. Okay, so you basically generative fill his shirt every single frame. That is so smart. <laughs> that is so cool. And I think the lyric here is a universal language. Yes. yes. Like you can travel around the world in a split second and music connects to everybody. This is a perfect transition just to say, okay, what is the point of this music video in like one second? Boom. Just show this. <laughs> uh, what the form? We actually had to borrow it from the museum. What? And we decorate it. So you just want to make sure you don't break that thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so good. Have you ever used Riverside before? No, it's our first time using it. Is it easy to use? All I had to do was to type our name and that was it. If you notice, this is the second time recently that we've had a guest on the show. <laughs> Hello. So if I ever need to film with a super talented duo like yourselves, but we're not in the same room, or if maybe we're literally on the other side of the planet, Riverside makes tackling this tough task a breeze. It's easy for our guest and for me too. It records my screen, its audio, and our audio and video tracks all separately at 4K resolutions for maximum flexibility while editing. Once we finish recording, I can hop into the Riverside studio and I click one button to import all of the assets into my editing software. Like seriously, you can't make it any easier than that. Or if you wanted to actually just start editing the video right away in Riverside, you can do that too. They have text-based editing so you can edit everything like a Word document, cutting out the bits and pieces that you don't like. You can also use the transcription to create other text-based content like Twitter threads, blog posts, and the AI features inside Riverside Studio helps us find clips or automatically create captions, which is super useful when you're making clips for shorts. 
But the real reason that we can now have guests like this on our show is because Riverside records everything locally. So we're literally having internet issues right now, but I'm not worried because it will record everything perfectly clear and smooth with no buffering. So be sure to click the link in the description and use code Jordan15 for 15% off the individual plan. Thank you so much, Riverside, for helping me talk to you guys. Yay, let's go. Dude, that's a nice wipe. Hoshi's part says even when we cannot communicate with words mm -hmm. and what animals are the ones that we cannot communicate with. So that's why we have donkey and even in a competing situation, like they are doing the DJ battle, they can just be friends through <laughs> the means of music. It's so good. You have a donkey with with sunglasses that are pink. Like what what more could you want at this point? Like that's probably the best thing I've ever seen, first of all. <laughs> I also love the fact that you were emphasizing the DJ battle by adding those like those quick oh. zoom ins, just being like, oh, they're going at it. They're battling. <laughs> they're in it. The competition is heating up here. Woo! Yes, and then you have this amazingly tracked title. So cute. <laughs> this whole scene is giving like Apple commercial or like a Beats Aww. commercial. It's rare to see VFX ideas that work as well as this. With the music gone in the world, we don't need any of the headphones, guitar, and all those instruments. And with the Vernon singing, everything just comes to life. Wow. And we actually had the headphones jump first, and then Vernon jumps. And that's why we have the headphones coming out. Oh, in this next shot. Yeah. Oh, that's so smart. So the VFX motivates his actual blocking in the scene. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Even on first watch, I didn't get this detail, but you just had the brass and guitar Yeah. right there. Turn the mirror and boom. It's such a quick shot, but it's it's perfect. The way you're just matching the lyrics and like building out this world where these instruments are literally coming to life, that's crazy. Our directing style doesn't solely focus on aesthetic imagery, like how handsome and how good looking the members are. I think our job is to focus more on the message of the song and portray what the song has to say. Wow, so good. You guys nailed it, A+. Thank you. A plus for me. This music name tag, so good. The match cuts, delicious. Chef's kiss. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Escus couldn't go to Budapest because he was actually hurt. And because they're uh, singing together, we thought that the best way to show them is by having a split screen. You guys are so smart. A split screen's great, but then once you start replicating the same camera movements in both shots, that's how you know there's been some serious thought that has been put into the directing here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did you notice? Did you notice that how the forks fold to do the rock sign here? Oh, that's so crazy. I did not notice that. <laughs> you guys are incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm starstruck right now. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> The VFX integration in this video is nuts. Dude. 
More match cuts with the speaker. Can we? Love that. I don't think a lot of people notice the detail, but the kids are not just jumping behind the members. The 17 members are bringing all the thrown away instruments together, which one of them were the big speaker. And when Swing One starts to sing and 17 members dance, they all come to a life and the sound pressure of the speaker makes the kids jump. Oh my, that is so genius. Okay, so they gather all the instruments, start to have a block party. This is so good. It's like those water speakers that like shoot up the water. Yes. Except the kids are jumping. You guys are so smart. Oh my goodness. I love how in this shot, all the instruments are looking up towards the camera, just like the members. See these little details, the way that you've directed a lot of the VFX shots, those are the things that blow my mind. The attention to detail, the care into every single frame is crazy. And it's usually because of you. <laughs> Because you notice and expose every every detail. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made your job way too hard. After our music video has been released, we always wait for your reactions. Oh my And you goodness. go frame by frame. So when we are editing, we pay attention just in case. That's so crazy. <laughs> You're like, okay, we have to QC this thing frame by frame because Jordan might find a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anybody that's doing it better, so. <laughs> Shout out to you. Oh, the treble clef flower? Yes. Mm. Okay. All right, that's enough. Okay. First of all, the little white match cut, so freaking nice. That's not what I really want to talk about. This. Uh, in this part, the choreography when we the members pause like this. So we thought, oh, maybe oh, yeah. the, the girls have to pause too. Oh. It looks like you comped two shots together. So you have the boys dancing in the front and then you have like a freeze frame in the background and then they unfreeze later. But here's the thing. It looks like this girl comes up right at the beginning of the shot. So there's still some motion in the background and then it tricks your brain into thinking that it's not a freeze frame. Just this one tiny girl moving for a couple frames. That is wild. That is so smart. Uh, the original shot, they are so double. So they're a lot lower in the original shot, and then you moved them up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like in such a nice formation. Like, there's no <laughs> way that you actually got that in an actual shot. But that was one of my favorite moments of the video, so I wanted to talk about it. It was so oh, cool. really? Because... <laughs> I love the whip pants, they're so good. I can't just let it play. I have to keep pausing and talk about it because it's so good. Following the laws of physics with your editing. First of all, you have somebody jump up and then what goes up must come down. So then you immediately cut to a shot of somebody falling. It just makes sense in context. And then come on. Let's talk about this little guy dancing in yeah. the light. Come on, like that's so smart. It's so simple, but I've never seen anything like that before. Because we have limited time in the actual shoot, we go there in a pre-production stage. He actually do all the acting. I'm very professional guy, man. What? All the other celebrities are like, hey, director, you should be the one booting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jihoo right here with the real talent. It just it flows so well. This is a tiny detail, but since he's gonna be jumping off, the VFX Dino is actually jumping high here. Okay, so right at the end. Yeah. Right here. That's what makes it very smooth. Some of the best VFX in editing are when you don't notice it. I was just watching, I was like, this feels so smooth, it feels perfect. And it's because of those little details like that that I don't even notice. That is so cool. So he's jumping in the back yes. to jump onto the speaker. Yes. Oh my goodness.
goodness. You guys got me in full conflict. This is crazy. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> the ants are so oh, the ants. So in this scene, since there are 13 members in 17, we have 12 ants that are carrying the guitar picks and one is carrying a speaker just like Uji. Oh my goodness. You see, this is what I'm talking about. The details are literally nuts. Literally <laughs> nuts. Oh my goodness. He gave himself a microphone. <laughs> okay, so they're mirroring each other. That's so funny. Was his like high note so good that you just burst the windows? Yes. <laughs> oh, and if you back a little, read the first letters. Singing. Oh, S I A G. S. Oh, S I N G. Sing. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so. Cool. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Are you still missing music? Listen up, they are everywhere. Yes. So that reminds me of the butterflies and like the like you were talking about, even the the telephone wires where music is everywhere even though there isn't actually music. Yes. That's at least one detail that was completely obvious that I found, so <laughs> good job, Jordan. <laughs> No, when June is sitting down, the MIDI doll is having a guitar and like dancing just like June. Oh, so that's him? Yeah. So good. Yes, that's true. He's wearing a guitar. Woo! Okay, so they hijacked all the instruments and then decided to plug them in to so something to the world. 17 to the world. And then we trace the wire back and we have a little radial blur here. Yes. Yeah, it just helps you feel that impact. Imagine the world is without music and then all of a sudden 17 starts playing. Like, bruh, that's crazy. About the wire, uh, DOP was, he's like the pro at gym ball. So we could manage to shoot it quickly. Yeah, shout out to our DOP. I'm cold. <laughs> Gimbal is so hard to make look good. Every time I see the behind the scenes and I see a gimbal or like a movie or something, I'm like, it does not look like that. It looks so good. Well, I think most of the music videos that you see are shot by him. He's the guy. Yeah, wow. he's the guy. Longko is the, is the guy. He is him. They just manifest in the rainbow, let's go. Okay. In the beginning of the music video, the music came alive and they started to enjoy it, but it doesn't just end there. They're spreading. The rainbow, I think it symbolizes their spread of music. It's not just in this place, it goes all around. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. <laughs> I'm dancing in the background. That's the best. I'm so glad you chose this clip. Look at him go, bro. Oh, we have to thank Seventeen again. We took the choreography very in the morning and it was dark. When the sun came out later on, we wanted to shoot it again and they were all like, let's go for it. Absolute king. Seventeen members were so rose, so supportive. Cool, 
That's such a nice kick VFX transition with a little chromatic aberration. And also grateful. Oh yes, of <laughs> course. Yes. The visual representation of music spreading across the world. That's what Kylie said, so. And she's she's the director, so, you know. I'm not excluding you, Jihu. <laughs> He's wired to the cloud, literally. <laughs> this shot right here intrigued me. Is this an iPhone shot? And is it on like a track or like a train of some sort? Yes, it was on a train and we wanted to portray Seventeen as God. So in order to do so, we thought that having them shoot in a low angle will make them bigger. And since we couldn't have the s groups in Budapest, we have to put him in because this is the hip hop team. Okay, that makes so much sense. The fact that even though he was injured, that you were able to integrate him into the music video so well, so seamlessly, that's so good. So good. A little birdie told me that this microphone might actually be in space. So t tell me the story behind this. There are a lot of things to say about this scene. <laughs> There's a ball. It's not CGI. The microphone actually went to space. Wow. We thought of having it like CGI, but then if we do it like that, it wouldn't be as meaningful. So this is the actual earth that we're looking at. Like that's yes. real. Oh my goodness. And the lyric for this part is 17 to the world. <laughs> what is the best way to show the size of the world? We thought it should be space. Oh, I can't believe that you were like, okay, what's a way that we can show music going to the world? I got an idea. Let's actually show the entire world. <laughs> like actually. <laughs> That's so awesome. And that phone transition. This video just gets crazier and crazier. It doesn't stop. Okay. This is it. Not the split screen mic handoff. That's crazy. How many people did you guys have? This is crazy. The scale of this. What is happening? That's our secret. That's something that we cannot reveal, but um, let's say um, <laughs> not everybody's real. <laughs> <laughs> In this scene, do not frame by frame. Sorry, I couldn't. Re I couldn't resist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this. <laughs> it's so good. It's you sell it so well though. So everyone can enjoy music regardless of where they're from, um, what languages they speak. So in the vast wide scene with all the fireworks, everybody's enjoying it. Just like uh, this album's title, 17th Heaven. It's something that sounds impossible, but it's happening. Okay. The mic handoff, come on. Like these ideas that you, how, you, you guys don't run out, how? Instagram Reels and TikTok. <laughs> what? I need to start doing that too, oh my goodness. <laughs> Follow TikTok. I'm over here taking notes, guys. You know, we actually did the horizontal split screen in Stray Kids case one for three. Since then, if we use it correctly, it is very effective. Yes, because you guys did Case 143 and I saw you guys had like a whole green screen set. Like you went hard for that one. That one was crazy. I'm just going to call you guys 725 the split screen masters. Come on. You know, because I don't see anybody, I don't see anybody doing it better. Ooh, the mic drop. That ending transition was crazy. We got our boy in, in the hospital room. Okay. Turns into the phone on an overhead shot. And then we have, it looks like we blend into a new shot here or if it's maybe just later in the take or something. And then we zoom out to reveal 
them on the earth that is now wearing headphones. Truly shot, plenty. Jimmy, Jimmy, Z, and roll. Okay, so you had like an overhead crane shot or something first, mm -hmm. and then to a drone shot. Now my favorite part of the music video right here. <laughs> this is so good. We have the snail, the very tiny insect that's slowly crawling around to get to the festival, which reminds us back to the key message that literally everyone, even the insects and the animals and the plants can enjoy the music. Wow. And even the fact that we're on opposite sides of the world right now, and we get to connect just because of the love of music. Like it really does transcend language and cultures and everything. You are so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my You're gosh. so sweet. I'm blushing. Uh, stop. All right, let's do some dance therapy. All right. <laughs> He's so ready. Huge thanks to Jihu and Kylie, the director duo 725. Give them some serious love in the comments. This was so cool. God bless you guys. Bye. <laughs>